morning. Welcome to Children's Ministry at the Fort Bend Church. I'm Miss Deirdre. It's prayer time. Let us pray. Dear God, please hear our prayer. We praise your holy name. We thank you for your love. We thank you, God, for Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins. Dear God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the Bible and our church. We thank you for our pastor and our parents. We thank you for our teachers and our friends. We love you, God, our Father. Dear God, help us to obey you and make you smile. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's stand and sing, This is the Day. can live in a river, a lake, or an ocean. In today's Bible story, after Jesus had taught the people, he and some men went out on the lake in a boat. The men had fished all night long, but they had not caught any fish. In this story, we will hear what happened when Jesus told them what to do to catch fish. Today's story is found in the New Testament book of Luke. Luke is one of the Gospels, and the Gospels are the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They all tell the same story about what happened when Jesus lived on earth. Today's story is Peter worshiped Jesus from Luke 5. Let's watch that video. Hi everybody, my name is Megan, and my name is Jesse. Wow, Jesse, I really like your fishing pole. Are you about to go fishing? Yep, Megan, I sure am. My dad and I are gonna go fishing and I can't wait. I even have a top secret special bait I'm gonna use. Oh, a secret bait. Can you share your secret with us? Well, my secret is bananas. Bananas? Do fish even like bananas? 
Well, I'm not sure that I know I do. <laughs> well, there's actually a Bible story when Jesus went on a fishing trip. He told Peter, James, and John to throw their nets into the water, and when they pulled them up, there were so many fish, the nets started to break. Lolly, that's a lot of fish. I wonder what his secret bait was. Uh, well, I don't think Jesus needed secret bait. You know why? Why? Because Jesus is God. God has the power to do anything. When the men saw all of the fish in their nets, they left everything and followed Jesus. Let's watch together. One day, Jesus stood by a lake. Lots of people got together to listen to Jesus teach about God. They pushed close to hear what Jesus was saying. Jesus looked out and saw two boats at the edge of the lake. The fishermen were nearby, washing their nets. Jesus got into one of the boats and asked a fisherman named Simon Peter to push the boat a little out from the land. Then Jesus sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. When Jesus was done teaching, he told Peter to move the boat to deeper water and let down his nets to catch fish. Peter said, Master, we have been fishing all night long and did not catch anything, but I will do what you said. So Peter and his friends, James and John, let down the nets. They caught so many fish that the nets began to rip. They called out to the fishermen in the other boat to come and help. Both boats were so full of fish that they began to sink. The fishermen were amazed. Peter fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. Jesus said, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will gather people instead of fish. Then Peter, James, and John brought the boats to the land, left everything, and followed Jesus. Peter realized that he was a sinner and that Jesus is God. He saw Jesus' kindness and followed him. Jesus invites us to follow him too. He shows grace and kindness to sinners who trust in him. Our Christ Connection tells us that Peter realized that he was a sinner and that Jesus is God. He saw the kindness of Jesus and followed him. Jesus invites us to follow him too. He shows grace and kindness to sinners who trust in him. Let's review that Bible story. After Jesus finished teaching, he and the fishermen went out into the deeper water. When Jesus told them to put their nets into the water, Peter complained, but then he obeyed. That's when Jesus did something amazing. The nets were filled with so many fish that they began to tear. They were all amazed because of Jesus. Today's Bible story is about so much more than boats and fish. After spending time in the boat with Jesus, Peter learned that he was a sinner and that Jesus was God. Because of Jesus' kindness, Peter began to follow Jesus and to learn from him. Jesus shows kindness like that to sinners who trust in him. The key passage reminds us that faith is when someone believes something even though they might not be able to see it or even understand it at all. In today's Bible story, Peter didn't understand everything, but he believed that Jesus is God. Peter chose to trust and follow Jesus. Jesus gives us that same invitation. By faith, we can trust in him and please God. Now, repeat the key passage after me. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Hebrews 11, verse 6. Let's sing the key passage song, Faith, and our praise song.
keep singing the key passage song this week because it's a great way to help you remember that key passage. Let's say the big picture question. How can we be saved? Now the answer. We are only saved by trusting in Jesus. Good job. Good job. In our missions moment video, we see that George Leal went to Jamaica and found people who needed to know about Jesus. He was a great missionary and preacher. He urged many others to go and tell people about Jesus. George Leal obeyed God's command to tell other people about Jesus and encouraged them to start new churches in America, Jamaica, and many other places around the world. Now, let's close in prayer. Let us pray. God, please help the boys and girls begin to understand what Peter learned, that Jesus wants everyone to follow him. Help each one of us recognize how kind Jesus is to sinners who trust in him. Please help us understand what it means to trust in Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Now work on your activity page with an adult. This week, I want you to pray for more people to help tell the good news about Jesus. Also, pray for churches to be started in new communities. Remember, subscribe to the Fort Bend Church YouTube channel. Like and share this week's video. Have a wonderful week. See you next time. Bye. Man, what's the significance of people like George Lyle and Missions? How much time you got? Because I could talk about this forever. George Lyle is proof that there's a place for people of color in missions. Also, he's proof that God wouldn't even let something as big as slavery keep him from calling this man, this black man, to partner with him in his global mission. So he's proof. He's, a, he's an encouragement to me. People like him. I know there are many other stories that we maybe don't have access to, or, but George Lyle is a start. He's a, a start to a story that tells people of color, you have a place here in God's global mission. And so I want people to have access to that story, and I hope that we discover many, many, many more stories that we can tell. And I want to be a part of that story. I want my story to be out there, not because of me, but because of what it might do for the next generation coming after me. Are you ready for a summer adventure at the Fort Bend Church? All rising first graders through rising sixth graders, grab your map and come along and join us for an eight week journey with Camp Kids of the Bend. Our Camp Hop summer adventure will begin on June 5th through July 28th. That is a full summer full of fun activities, adventurous field trips, as well as exploring and strengthening our connection with God. Each weekly adventure will include a dynamic devotion, fun field trips, and splash Fridays at the pool. If you're ready for this adventure, visit the church website at www.thebid.org slash to register. This will be an adventure you don't want to miss.